Hi there. Today for our Play Center Zoom In, we're going to take a close look at our Magnet Center. So let's get started. The Magnet Center has an interesting spot in our room. It's actually be behind this um, storage unit. So if you step behind, you can see that it is tucked back here. Um, if you follow me, you've probably heard me say before that we have a pretty small classroom, so we have to make do with the size, um, or excuse me, with the space that we have. In order to make the space a little bit cozier, we've included these legless seat cushions. Um, these can be found on Amazon. I don't remember the brand because I acquired these years ago through a donor's shoes project. Um, but I love them because they do fold flat when necessary. Uh, this rug, I think, came from Big Lots years and years ago. It's super sun faded by now, um, but it does the trick. This is a drip oil pan that I got from the um, Napa Auto Parts near my home. And then I just used um, really strong, heavy-duty Velcro, like sticky Velcro. Um, so if I needed to remove this oil pan, I could certainly do that um, because the Velcro comes apart. This little addition set comes from Learning Resources. So my kids can take the balls and say they want to do like one plus one, one green ball, one blue ball. They put it in the addition funnel and they can see one plus one equals two. The rest of the supplies for our magnet center go in the storage cart. I believe I found this from Walmart years ago, but of course you can find these in at Michael's, on Amazon, at Target, they are all over the place. So let's start taking a look at what is inside of the drawers. In the bottom drawer, we have our friend Matman. Um, so we have a picture of Matman. This comes from the Handwriting Without Tears program. And then this is this felt piece is, has ma um, mag a magnet strip on the back. Um, so he sticks to the oil pan. And then here are Matman's pieces. So my kids can put together Matman, including his eyes. In two of the drawers, we have letter magnets. So here we have the blue uppercase letters and we also have the yellow um, lowercase letters. And then we also include vocabulary cards if the kids want to write words. And then we include our students' names as well if they want to write their names, or excuse me, build their names with the letter magnets or build their friends' names. Next, we have magnetic pieces for building. Um, these come in different shapes, triangles, squares. Um, I guess mostly triangles and squares now that I'm looking closer. Some of them are like hollow in the middle. Some of them are more, a little bit more solid. Um, and then we have magnetiles. We have different size magnetiles. We even have this really big one. Um, let's see if I can pull it out. It doesn't fit in a drawer, but the kids love building with this huge magnetile. In this drawer, we have a collection of animal magnets. I love when my friends like <laughs> use their imaginations and tell stories with these animal magnets. It's super cute. Um, of course, they put all of this on the oil drip pan. Um, in this drawer, we have numbers and shapes. I believe I found these in the Target dollar spot a few years ago. In this drawer, we have magnetic dress-up dolls. Well, technically these were not magnetic, but we put magnetic strips on the back to make them magnetic. Um, but these uh, clothing pieces are magnetic, so they stick to the dolls. I should mention too that these are Melissa and Doug dress-up dolls. Um, let's see, in here we have more magnetiles. And then this last drawer is kind of just a hodgepodge of things. So here are some more balls that go with that addition set I was telling you about. And then we have magnetic ones, these little magnetic bingo chips. Um, we did have a Tangram puzzle set, but these pieces, honestly, they have gotten lost over the years. But we do have a few, a few left. But yeah, this is where we pretty much 
store like the random magnetic stuff. Okay, so that is it for a magnet center. It's pretty simple, but I'll tell you it is definitely a favorite. It is a odd day when there is no one in the magnet center. Almost every day, choose, at least one person chooses to play back there. If you have any questions at all, feel free to drop them in the comment box below and I will get back to you. See ya.